I was a college student, juggling classes and a part-time job to make ends meet. My job involved late-night shifts at a gas station on the outskirts of town. Most nights were uneventful, filled with the quiet hum of fluorescent lights and the occasional customer stopping by for gas or snacks. But one fateful night, something happened that would leave an indelible mark on my memory. A memory of pure horror. It was a stormy night, with rain pouring down in torrents and the wind howling through the trees. The thunder rumbled like a giant's growl, shaking the very foundation of the gas station. I watched the raindrops splatter against the storefront windows, their rivulets distorting the view outside. That night had no heavy workload due to the tempestuous weather, and I was alone, the only employer on duty. The clock ticked past midnight, and the only sounds were the faint hum of the refrigerators and the steady patter of rain. I was leaning on the counter, half dozing and half reading a textbook, when the bell above the door jingled. I glanced up, expecting to see a customer, but instead, a man walked in. He was tall, dressed in a dark hooded raincoat that concealed most of his features. I greeted him with a polite nod, but he didn't respond. His silence unsettled me, and I couldn't help but feel a twingy of uneasy. The man moved through the Aisleys, his footsteps echoing in the empty store. He seemed to be browsing the shelves, but I noticed he wasn't actually looking at any of the products. He was just moving things around, knocking cans off the shelves and creating a mess. I knew I had to keep an eye on him, but my instincts were telling me something was seriously wrong. I reached under the counter and discreetly dialed 911, keeping the phone hidden from the man's view. As I whispered my location and described the suspicious man to the dispatcher, the stranger turned his head and stared directly at me, his eyes dark and empty. My heart raced as I continued talking to the dispatcher. I was trapped behind the counter with only a flimsy glass partition between me and the intruder. The man started to approach me slowly, his footsteps echoing with an eerie intensity. My voice trembled as I tried to maintain a conversation with the dispatcher while watching the man draw closer, his intentions unknown. As he reached the counter, the dispatcher urged me to stay on the line. The man's face was now inches from mine and I could smell the mustiness of his rain-soaked coat. His gloved hand reached out and I flinched, ready to defend myself. But just then, the distant sound of sirens filled the air, growing louder with each passing second. The man's grip on my counter tightened, and he gave me one last sinister look before turning and bolting towards the door. I watched as he fled into the pouring rain, disappearing into the night. The police arrived shortly after, taking my statement and reviewing the surveillance footage. They never caught the man, and I couldn't shake the feeling that he had intended to harm me that night. The lasting impact on my memory was one of sheer horror, a terrifying encounter that reminded me how vulnerable we can be, even in the most ordinary and mundane of circumstances. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more true scary stories from the internet.